So what is going on everyone? It's XO here and we're back once again on Black Ops 3. Now today's video is going to focus mostly on trick shot spots you can still pull off in 2017. None of these require wall breaches, they're all just easy jumps. I say easy very lightly and some of these are very small ledges, but you guys should all be able to pull them off. As always, my giveaway is still going on, all you have to do is leave a comment and like down below. Hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's get right to the spots. Now I have featured some of these before in previous videos, but those are all going to be at the end. The ones at the beginning I've never shown before, at least on this channel. Here we're going to see Dress. He's wall running on this building here. He gets as high up as he can and then he jumps off right onto this invisible ledge. Now this is a really old one rivaling the one on Combine off that glass container we're gonna see here in third person this was David he went about it a little bit differently he just jumped right up to it dresses was a little bit more controlled I think he got higher up jumped up with all of his boosts that way he was able to see exactly where he landed but either way works if you know what you're doing it doesn't really matter as I said this one's really old and you don't see it all too often I'm sure you guys could pull off some great shots from here and here's another one on evac a little bit similar but this one's a lot easier just because it's not as high up we're gonna see I land right on that ledge. Let's watch here in first person. So it doesn't really matter where you start from. You just get your wall run, jump right onto it. This is a small one as with the last one, but a lot easier, a lot more controlled wall run. It's not as hard getting as high up on that spot. I know there's a ledge under the map on evac, but to my knowledge, I think this is the only high ledge that exists on this map. Let me know in the comments though if you guys know another one. Now we're moving to the king of ledges as far as the maps go. On Exodus, we're going to watch Capic here. He jumps right up into this corner, and there's an invisible ledge you can stick on. There are so many on this one, so I'm only going to show a couple that I have never shown on Exodus before. This one, there's not really many spots you could pull a shot off from, but I just figured I'd include any ones that are of a substantial height. The community's been able to pull off some awesome secret rooms on this map already, but I have one coming up in a video that Capic was able to do that's insane, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Here's an amazing spot that was pulled off by Cranin today in a lobby. I've never seen this one before. The community continues to impress, so you need to wall run on this building here, jump off and then boost back right up to this gate and then you should be able to stick on it. Even with all of the ledges I already knew on Exodus, this might be the top one here. So you have a vantage point to all of those areas. I wouldn't say this one is easy to pull off, although if you have overdrive, it makes the jump a lot easier, but you have to precisely land right on that ledge. Let's watch how Cranin does this now. A lot of people were failing trying to get up there. We had one go down. Nope, he didn't make it. You can't come in hot like that. You have to really land precisely right on it just as he does. But we're going to see you can get up there another way. This is going to require a friend or maybe five or six as we did in this community lobby. Let's watch here. Everyone joined up and they were all trying to jump up to get to him. Eventually they were able to elevate right on top of each other and a few people got on there. Now I am going to make a whole video soon dedicated to spots where you can jump on top of somebody's head and get on top of a sky barrier but that's for a later date now we're on redwood here and this is going to be in the back of the map it's like that one getting outside of it where you need to wall run around a tree but we're going to be landing on a high ledge so you wall run around this tree in the back of the map jump off it when you have your boost back and you should be able to land in these trees over here on an invisible barrier now i'm going to show you exactly where this is at in third person I know that looked a little bit confusing from that angle. It's really important that you get your boost back when you're running around the tree. That's the reason for it. So I jump up, boost off, and then I land right here. The barrier is actually pretty big. If it took you a while to get this one though, I wouldn't play around with it too much. Although it's not like the one on Breach or Combine or anything like that. You can actually walk around in this one. You might be able to feel it out and know exactly where you're at. Now we're going to move to Nuketown, and I'm going to be quick with this, just because I had a video only a few days ago where I showed all of these. So I would say that this is the best regular ledge that you can get to without any specialist, score streaks, anything like that. But I'm going to show you guys some care package ledges that you can get to. You just need to drop them in these spots. It's very small areas. And then you can just jump right up to them. There's nothing to it. If you guys want to check my previous video just a few days ago, I think it was on Saturday, I really showcased all of these. It was a lot slower. I went in detail to them. 
So make sure to check that out. Nuketown 2065 sure had so many more glitch spots than the previous ones, that's for sure. Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Now here on Hunted, this is a spot you guys have probably seen so many times. You just jump right from the pole up to this invisible ledge. I made it look easy there, but it really is simple as long as you have overdrive. If you don't have overdrive, you can still do it as you guys saw, but you really have to take the right path. We're gonna see here in third person. You jump to the left and then back to the right. It's all about calculating your boost and knowing how high you have to get up to. Now we're gonna move to combine. This is an old spot, maybe the oldest ledge on Black Ops 3. You jump off this glass container and land right on the edge off the side of it. I always compare all the small ledges to this one on combine just because it takes such precision, it's a wall run. Here's one from Necro the Reaper. I've shown this one before and yes, it can be done without gravity spikes. You need a wall run off that wall very quickly there, jump back, use gravity spikes. It makes it a lot easier and you can land in this corner. This isn't a precision one. There's two invisible walls right there. So you just need a gravity spike up and you always land there. It's just about the height here. You just need to get high enough up to land in that invisible ledge. You can do it without gravity spikes. People have let me know that in the comments, but it just makes it so much easier with gravity spikes. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I might have not covered every single trick shot spot on Black Ops 3, but this sure was a lot of the glitch ones that are still working. PS4, Xbox One, and PC as always. My gift card giveaway is still going on, ends this Sunday. Just leave a like and comment down below to enter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, 100k, we're back again.